In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use and get set up with IP Vanish. And also in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use IP Vanish to access different versions of Netflix. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you the exact same process for smartphone devices. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm just going to walk you through the process of setting up an IP Vanish account and downloading the app onto your computer. So I've gone and clicked the link down below in the video description and that's opened me to this exclusive page where I get a discount on the annual plan. So at the time of making this video, you can get the annual plan for $6.49, which is 46% off. Or alternatively, you can select the specific plan for your budget and time frame. And if I scroll down, I can just go and finish the checkout process. So once you're finished with the checkout process, IP Vanish will automatically detect what device you are using and it will prompt you to download an app for that particular device. So at the moment, I'm using a MacBook Pro. So IP Vanish is prompting me to download the app. So all I have to do now is download it and install it. And then I can simply go and log in with my username and password. Okay guys, so once you download and install IP Vanish and log into your account, this is what you'll be greeted with. Uh, this is the desktop app for MacBook and it's also very similar for Windows as well. So the usability of IP Vanish is a little bit kind of overwhelming to begin with. However, once you do use the app for a couple of minutes, it's actually very easy to use and navigate, have the option for quick connect, serverless, and also account options. And right below here, we also have the option of picking a particular location an available city and also a server in that particular location. So right out of the box, IP Vanish is completely ready to use. All you have to do is select a location and it will automatically hide your IP address, which will allow you to start watching the different versions of Netflix, browsing anonymously online, and also for downloading our files as well. However, if you are looking for extra controls, you can adjust the settings by going to the top left hand corner, going to preferences, and right here we have many settings that you can adjust if you are looking to do that. So in the general settings we have such things as launch on login, uh, hide IP vanish on startup and a couple of others. And then I can also go to the connection where I can dive deeper into the actual VPN protocol and there's many to choose from. And then I can also select the kill switch scramble. So I'm just going to leave these as is as I do find IP vanish is perfectly fine to use straight out of the box. However, if you are looking for that control, it is available. So I'm going to go back to the uh, IP Vanish dashboard and I'm actually going to go watch the American version of Netflix. So to do that, all I have to do is select the location, scroll all the way down to the United States. And from here, I have the option of picking a particular city or alternatively, I can just leave this on best available. And I also have the same options for the servers as well. So once I'm happy with the settings and the location, I can go and press connect. And this will now go and connect me to the fastest server in America on the IP Vanish network. So this usually takes maybe five to 10 seconds to get connected. And as you can see guys, we are now connected. So now that we've done that, I can go back to Netflix and I'll go and refresh my browser. And this will go and load me onto the American version of Netflix. And it really is that simple guys. And I can go and repeat the same process for the uh, UK based versions, Spanish, Japan, and so on. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go search for a particular TV show called The Office, which is available on the American version of Netflix. So I'll just do a quick search for that one. And as you can see guys, we now have The Office available, plus some additional titles uh, such as Parks and Recreation, Better Call Saul, New Girls, and this is really only scratching the surface as to what you can do with IP Vanish. So I'm just going to go play a really small snippet of this in real time, just to share with you guys the speeds of using IP Vanish when connecting to a different uh, version of Netflix. So typically I do find it does take between three and 10 seconds, as you can see right there. Okay guys, so I'm going to jump over to my mobile phone device and show you guys the process of setting up IP Vanish and also connecting to a different location on Netflix. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my iPhone and I've already gone and installed IP Vanish just to speed up the process of this video. However, if you are looking to download it, you can just search for it in the App Store and then log in with your username and password. So I'm going to go open up IP Vanish. And as you can see guys, this is very similar to the desktop app. Um, you have the settings on the top right, top right hand corner, your location, uh, the various countries you can connect to, and also the connect button itself. So as I am looking to connect to a different version of Netflix, again, I can go and select a country, 
go all the way down to the United States, click on that location, and again guys, we have the city and the server available. However, I'm just going to go and press connect. And much like the desktop version, this will automatically connect me to the fastest server on the IP Vanish network. And similarly, we have the kind of uh, green waves of data that will come uh, quite shortly. And as you can see, guys, there they are. And if I want to go and adjust further settings, again, I can go to the settings on the top right hand corner. And then I can scroll down to advanced. And as you can see, guys, we have the on demand, which will launch our IP Vanish automatically. And then we also have the VPN protocol as well. And if we also look on the top left hand corner of the screen, we also see a very small icon, which is indicated as a VPN. And that just lets us know that IP Vanish is working in the background. And all of the apps and browsers will now be connected to a server in the United States. And just to show you guys this, I can exit out of IP Vanish. And as you can see, we still get the icon there. And now I can go and open up Netflix. And this will open me onto the American version of the platform. So I can go to my profile. And now I can go and search for the same title as the desktop. So I'll go and search for the office. Just do a quick search for that one. And as you can see, guys, we now have the exact same titles available. Uh, we've got the office. And if I scroll down, we also have additional titles as well. And we're just currently getting the uh, posters there as well. So now I can go and click on this one. And again, guys, I'll play a little bit in real time just to show you guys that this is actually working for iPhone devices uh, for watching the different versions of Netflix. So I'll go and press play. And similar with desktop, I do find it does take between 3 and sometimes 20 seconds depending on the time of day, how many people are on the network and your specific provider, whether you're using Wi-Fi or 4G or maybe 5G um, in 2020. So as you can see guys, this is now loading uh, with no issues whatsoever. So as you can see guys, IP Vanish is incredibly easy to get started with and it's also compatible across multiple devices and it works great for unblocking Netflix. So again guys, if you are looking to get started with IP Vanish, then don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If I've missed anything or maybe you have questions about a certain uh, kind of topic, then feel free to comment down below as I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.